Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel where we talk about skincare, grooming and sometimes hair so that sounds like your thing, make sure you are subscribed. Also, come and follow me on Instagram where I post a lot of stuff you're not going to see here on YouTube. So, it's the evening. I'm speaking quiet because I just put the dog to bed. Um, but I thought this might be a good time to make like a relaxing evening skincare routine. I've done this before and it was kind of enjoyable. And I thought we could just kind of like do our skincare routine together. Now with this routine, there is a little bit of a difference. Um, I'm not sure if you watch all my videos, but if you do, you would know that I'm trying to avoid hyaluronic acid at the moment. I'm doing a little bit of an experiment to see if it is hyaluronic acid that's been breaking me out, flaring me up, making me go red. I've been two weeks without hyaluronic acid and my skin is looking a lot less red. So it's very likely that it's hyaluronic acid. So this whole routine is not gonna include hyaluronic acid. Let's start with the first step and that is of course an oil cleanser. I'm using um, the Muji Sensitive Skin Cleansing Oil. I've been loving oils at the moment um, just because I find them a lot more relaxing compared to balms. It's nice to not have to try and melt something in the palm of your hands and have the balm sliding off your face all the time. And it's just like nice to give your face a little bit of a massage as well. But yeah, I do like this Muji one because one pump really is enough. Um, its main cleansing oil is olive oil and you can kind of smell that. Like it doesn't smell like you're cooking, but it's got more of like a Play-Doh kind of feel to the cleanser. It's got loads of other... Um, 100% natural, it says, cleansing oils within it, um, which to be honest, I don't really care about. I've mentioned before that all cleansing oils to me feel pretty much the same, um, and this is just a very, very good one at removing all my sunscreen. So now I'm going to go off emulsify and apply my cleanser. Okay, so onto damp skin, I'm going to take the Matcha Hemp Hydrating Cleanser. This is, of course, from Crave Beauty. I always like to lather that up in my facial hair and then take over the rest of my skin. But yeah, I like this one. I think this is like going to be my go-to cleanser for like the rest of my life for as long as it's available. I'm actually trying the Foreo. Um, I think this is like Luna 3 or something. A lot of you guys have been asking about this. So I've tried this a few times already and I actually really like it. I used to use a Clarisonic, but I found it like a bit um, unsanitary and I didn't like the whole bacteria thing. It just felt a little bit harsh. Um, oh, there we go. This just feels a lot softer. Um, I got one of the mini ones as well. which might be better kind of for me around the nose area. But I like it, my skin feels so smooth after, like it's unreal how smooth my skin feels. And whilst I'm trying not to chemically exfoliate, um, something like this is a very gentle, gentle way to hopefully remove some dead skin cells. My skin doesn't feel bothered as well after this. You know when you use like a proper physical exfoliator and your skin kind of feels like, like it's been roughed around a bit. It doesn't feel like that after this. So I'm gonna go completely wash this off now um, and then we'll move into the next step. So as you know, I never completely dry my skin after a cleanser and that's because I like to go in with a toner onto damp skin. Oh yeah, I was gonna mention, I'm not using chemical exfoliants at the moment just because I'm trying to get my skin barrier back to 100%. So I'm avoiding chemical exfoliators or exfoliators um, at the moment, apart from gentle things like that. Um, so I'm going straight onto my toner. This is of course the I'm From Rice toner. I use this every morning, every evening. I use a lot of toners, but this is the one like I always, always come back to just because I know it works. You have to shake it up a bit. This is actually my toner and essence stage at the moment because this has so many beneficial ingredients as far as what I look for in an essence. So it helps to even out my skin tone, it helps with a few anti-aging things. But also whilst neither a toner or essence are necessary, they both kind of serve the same purpose. So it's nice to kind of just have like a two-in-one. But yes, I feel like this toner is a great example of why I love them. Um, it's just nice and hydrating. Oh, get that out of the way. It's just nice and hydrating. 
So obviously rice is one of my favorite ingredients for brightening my skin tone, um, helping with things like hyperpigmentation. Sorry, my mirror's up here, so that's why I'm not looking at the camera. But yeah, this has a huge amount of rice in it. It's 77.78% um, rice. It just adds this like instant like luster, is that the word? Luster and luminosity to your skin that I really, really like. By the way, a lot of people ask if I do everything. I'm kind of like really hunched over. I do everything to my neck that I do to my face. I just kind of like cut it out because it doesn't look very nice on camera. I mean, we are kind of looking up at my double chin right now. This also contains niacinamide. So again, something really, really good for evening out your skin tone, um, helping with sebum production. Then you have something called Japanese Bacoda tea extract, which is kind of like the anti-aging benefit within this toner. So yes, it gives me all those hydrating benefits without using hyaluronic acid. You may be wondering why I'm not using a reusable cotton pad. That is because they are all in the wash and I have this like um, pack of cotton pads that I bought ages ago that they're either gonna go with it in the bin or get used up, so I'm using them. So yeah, I like, like the glow, it gives my skin pretty instantly. Next step. So here is a serum I have been loving recently. This is the Glossier Super Pure Niacinamide Plus Zinc Serum. You guys know I love my ordinary version. I've used it all up, all like four bottles that I bought. This is a 5% instead of a 10% like the Ordinary's Niacinamide, but 5% is enough to make a difference within your skin. You don't really have to have a 10% or even a 20% that we've seen recently, which I'm intrigued by. So Niacinamide we know helps with your um, skin tone, evening out your skin tone. Potentially help with the appearance of enlarged pores as well. We have the zinc as well, along with the Niacinamide that helps with sebum production, controlling sebum production, and with breakouts. So, I like to put a bit in my hand. I know people say do it on your fingertips, but I like to just do that and then press into my skin. Make sure I get some on my nose. I really love the texture of this product. It's a lot more watery. It's not as thick and gloopy and sticky as the um, ordinary niacinamide serum can supposedly be. I've not experienced like too much um, stickiness with it, but apparently it doesn't sit well under a lot of other products and it doesn't sit well under makeup as well. So if you find that you can have that with the Ordinary's Niacinamide, then the Glossier one may be the option for you. So this is where I would usually use um, Paula's Choice 10% Azelaic Acid Booster. This has licorice and salicylic acid in, but because I'm trying to avoid too much exfoliation, I won't be using this because of the salicylic acid, just while my skin barrier is recovering. Although this is very, very soothing. It has been really, really helping out with the redness on my cheeks and just down here and on my nose. So because I love this so much, I have been looking for a temporary alternative so in the meantime, I'm testing out this La Roche-Posay Rosaliac <laughs> AR Intense Serum. This is supposed to help with redness. So I don't know a lot about this, to be honest. I just saw some decent reviews, not amazing, but decent reviews on the internet. So I take it like a little bit like this. It says that's enough for your whole face. It's not. You need more because it just doesn't spread. Um, so I'm just going to read you what it says about it. It says to calm and balance your complexion with La Roche-Posay Rosaliac AR Intense Serum, a gentle and targeted formula ideal for sensitive skin prone to redness. Which is me. That's me. That's my face. Powered by the brand's exclusive thermal spring water, a mineral rich ingredient that instantly soothes irritated and inflamed skin. It's very, very soothing, I have to admit. The formula also uses a blend of amphenol and neurosensine <laughs> to promote a more even skin tone. The fluid, non-oily La Roche-Posay serum melts effortlessly into the facial contours to help create a calm, comfortable-looking complexion. So, I have no idea if it works yet, but it is instantly, instantly soothing. But as for the redness, I can't. Um, comment on that just yet. But my skin is still looking, I feel like, nice and plump and hydrated without all those insanely hydrating hyaluronic acid filled products. By the way, please don't be scared of hyaluronic acid just yet. 
Um, it's just an experiment so far. Speaking of that experiment, I have been using as my moisturizer um, the Belief True Cream Moisturizing Bomb. Um, I mentioned this before that I had a, I had a sponsored video with Belief. Um, I love their products; they're so nice. Um, this is the one I wasn't too keen on because it was summer um, and it was a little bit too heavy for my skin at the time. But this has been saving my skin. This moisturizing is hydrating again without using hyaluronic acid. Do just need the smallest amount. So I've been speaking to um, an esthetician and cosmetic chemist um, or formulator about my um, reaction to hyaluronic acid and she has a lot of clients who have the same kind of reaction and she highly highly recommended this uh, moisturizer and luckily for me, I had it laying around in my drawers. She recommended it to help rebuild my skin barrier and calm and soothe all the inflammation caused by supposedly, maybe, hyaluronic acid. Police say that this moisturizer can provide hydration for up to 26 hours, and I'm not gonna argue with that. I feel like it does, and I feel like it can. I use this at night, and I wake up with, honestly, the softest, most hydrated feeling skin it feels so soft and smooth and, and not even tight in the slightest like there's no tightness there whatsoever it does feel like i literally applied the cream an hour ago and then like woke up it feels that nice on the skin so the key ingredient in this moisturizer is something called comfrey leaf which i never heard of until i found out about belief so comfrey leaf contains allantoin and rosmarinic i think it's pronounced allantoin is soothing but also boosts the growth of new skin cells whilst rosmarinic 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 helps to soothe and heal the skin and it really 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 has been helping massively i do feel like this has saved my skin one thing I do do is make sure I moisturize my lips as well. I just use that same moisturizer. I actually use everything I use on like my face skin or my lips as well. So I use a bit of moisturizer, but my lips have been very, very dry recently with the cold weather. So I take a lip oil. This is the, um, I think they're called the same, um, Eco Soul Lip Oil. And I can't remember, this is the honey flavor. Then I take this. This has some really nice occlusive ingredients in. So this is gonna help lock in all that um, hydration and moisture. Then yeah, cause no one's gonna see me so it doesn't matter how shiny my lips are. I kind of like smother this on. Um, usually to the point where like it's like stringy, I'm like murmur, murmur. but um, because I still need to talk on camera, I'm gonna leave it like this. Then that is it. That is my current evening skincare routine. Um, I hope you did your routine along with me. Maybe your routine's shorter, so you just ended up watching me. Let me know if you use any of these products down below, or if you have any that you really, really recommend. But I'm going to bed now. Have a good night, and I'll see you next time.